Okay, for this follow me tutorial, I'm going to show you a really good way to make some pretty interesting complicated shapes, which is really going to help you out on the assembly project. So the first thing you need to do is make what looks like, I like to call it a piece of paper. Make sure you see how it's kind of going straight by his foot. I want it actually to go straight up like that. So it's going straight up and down. I keep moving it around. So you kind of figure out it's about like that. So that looks pretty good to me. So again, this is a follow me tool. And we're going to do follow me around in a circle. So the way that you do that, you got to, you have to position this. So that you're get that actual path is going to be perpendicular. See how it's red? You don't want that. There, see how it's blue? Now that's going to be perpendicular. See that? So move it around. So those, so the path is perpendicular to the shape so that's going to be able to spin around and make a shape. So what I need to do now is actually make my shape that I'm going to be using. There we go. In the middle more. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a shape on on here. So again, alright, so then what I'm going to do is take my pencil tool and make a shape that I find somewhat interesting. It's going to be spun around. That's my again. It's my midpoint. You want to make sure that you're actually on this edge. You're going to start on the edge, and then make some kind of a line. You take all lines on this. It's more interesting if you add, okay, some kind of an arc. So endpoint. Make sure it says endpoint. This line has to be all kind of stuck together. So uh, see how it's doing that. That means it's not on face. So there we go. That's kind of more on face. That might be interesting. We'll do that, and then we can add another curve that there you go and you want this to be on face so let's make sure we go like that and then we can maybe finish it off with the pencil tool kind of like make it kind of a let's make it a sturdy base let's kind of do that with it like that now see how that line turned light that means that I actually drew it on the face if it was dark then when I went to choose the two sides, what would happen is if I clicked on this, this would be all dots. That just means that's the end of kind of that grouping. And this lighter line means it's on face. So you want to, now I'm, I'm going to have this, so it's going to have some thickness, this line. So I'm actually going to go in here, and then I'm going to choose this. And this is the, here we go, keep it like that, a little bit like that, looks good. So now I'm going to have some thickness to this, so I want to kind of, oops, I want to kind of cut that off. So I'm going to use my pencil tool, and I'm going to add that just like a little bit closer. Closer. Take my pencil tool. I want to make sure that's right. Goes right on the end point like that. Here to here. Okay, let's get a little closer. What's going on here? Center. Okay. Again, let's grab my pencil tool, and let's try to make that so it goes right over there. There we go. And now I want to follow this, I want to change this also. So it's going to go right from here, kind of over to the end point there. Now see how this dropped away, all these dots dropped away? That's what you want. So this is all extra now. I don't need this because all I want is, this, is that one shape. So I'm going to select all of this. Again, I went from um, right to left. Anything I touch in the circle gets selected. Then I right click and I erase. And I do the same thing over here. And then I erase. I don't particularly want that line either, so I'm going to erase that. All right, so now I have this shape, and I want this to spin around this path. So I have my arrow key. I choose my path. Follow me. And then I choose my shape. So it's path, follow me, shape. And there we go. And I could go in there, make any material I want, to make it kind of fancy. That is how you make a shape with the follow me tool. And that, see how hollow that is? It has some thickness on that. This is kind of our goal for our some different pieces in our assembly project. Okay, good luck.